I asked him what his biggest reason for sales coaching was. My people can't prospect and they can't close. If they could prospect and could close, let's say we fixed all that for you. What's the next financial milestone that you want to hit with the organization? We did 3.5 mil last year. I'd like to do 6 mil. 6 mil. Got it. I'm going to write that down, Bob. We're going to do mission 6 million. Awesome. Does it make sense to get your team on board? Uh, no. Got it. What's a good next step? I got to talk to Pat. When are you going to talk to Pat? I'm going to talk to Pat later today. When you say later today, what time are you thinking? I'm going to talk to her at 2. Perfect. Why don't we do this? Uh, you talk to Pat. I'm going to send you a summary of our conversation. I'll include current situation, capabilities you're looking for in terms of prospecting and closing, and then suggest some next steps. It's pretty simple to get you on board. And then if I don't hear back from you by 4.30 today, I'll, I'll circle back with you then. Fair enough? Sure. Hey Bob, Matt Easton, Easton University, as promised, it's 4.30 this afternoon, calling to see if it makes sense to get your team on board so that we can get you closer to that $6.5 million in annual revenue, right? Now notice what I'm not doing. I'm not putting myself back in the hole that Bob put me in with Pat. Hey Bob, calling to see if you had time to talk to Pat. Do I care if Bob had time to talk to Pat? Absolutely freaking lutely not. Okay, that's something that Bob said Bob needs to do to close the deal. That's not part of my sales process, right? Notice there's a huge difference here. Am I being obtuse? No. Am I being rude? No. Am I being forceful? No. But at the same time, I am not putting myself back in holes that my prospect put me in. Does it make sense to get your team on board? No. What's a good next step? I got to talk to Pat. That's not a set in stone rule that the Senate approved last quarter that says anytime they buy something, Bob has to talk to Pat. That's what Bob is saying. So you guys, and we do this all the time, don't call Bob and go, hey, I'm just calling to see if you had an opportunity to talk to Pat. That's not what I want. I want a sale. I want Bob to sign the agreement. So I'm calling and saying, hey Bob, calling to see if it makes sense to sign the agreement so we can get your team on board, so we can get you on the road from 3.5 to $6 million. Now, if Bob wants to either call me back, and by the way, I say the same thing if Bob answers, if Bob wants to say, gosh, Matt, it really does, but I didn't get a chance to talk to Pat, right? Now we're back in the Pat hole because Bob put me back in there, not because I put myself back in there. And you guys have to realize this. You put yourself back in holes all the time and your prospects love it. Why? Because they're giving you money. And when people have to give money, they're stressed out. And if you give them an out, they'll always take it, right? So always ask for the thing you want, the agreement signed. Now, if it's a case where it's like, these have to be signed by the board, I can't sign off on this on my own, then you're gonna say, call to see if it makes sense to get it in front of the board, right? Now, Bob might say, no, got it, what's a good next step? I can't get it in front of the board unless I look at their calendar. When are you going to do that? I'm going to do that on Tuesday. I will know if I can get on their calendar next Tuesday. Oh, got it. It makes perfect sense. So you're going to look at the board. I'm going to send you a uh, summary of our conversation, current situation, capabilities you guys need to move forward. And then based on my understanding, you're going to look for the board's calendar. It comes out on Tuesday. You'll know then when we're going to be on the board. I'll circle back with you Wednesday if I haven't heard from you before then. Now when I circle back with Bob on Wednesday, I'm not going, hey Bob, it's Matt, as promised, calling to see if you got on the board's calendar. Hey Matt, uh, hey Bob, it's Matt, as promised, I'm calling to see if it makes sense to get us in front of the board. Right? Y yeah, it does. I didn't look at their calendar, but I'll make it happen. But if you go back to that thing, I need to get on their calendar. I need to talk to Bob. I need to talk to my spouse. These things are just going to get delayed over and over again. Does this make sense? 